Okay, I'm going to solve all the odd numbered level two problems, starting with number seven. A bunny can accelerate from rest to a speed of 32 meters per second in 20 seconds. What is the average acceleration of the bunny? So this time I am going to make a SUVAT table and try to fill it in. So if the bunny is accelerating from rest, that tells me that the starting velocity of the bunny is zero meters per second. And the final speed of the bunny is gonna be 32 meters per second. And the time this takes is 20 seconds. And we're trying to find the acceleration. So we need an equation that has u, v, a, t, and not s. So the only one that has that is v equals u plus a, t. So now I'm going to solve this equation for a by rearranging it. So I'm going to subtract u from both sides. And then divide both sides by t. And I get a by itself is equal to v minus u over t. So now I can plug this in. V is 32 meters per second. U is zero meters per second. Divided by the time of 20 seconds. Gets me an acceleration of 1.6 meters per second squared. You'll notice that these units are meters per second divided by seconds, so that cancels out correctly into meters per second squared. So that will be my answer. Number nine says a car is initially moving at 10 meters per second and accelerates at a constant rate of two meters per second squared for four seconds in a straight line. How far did the car travel during that time? So I'm making another SUVAT table. So the starting velocity of this car is 10 meters per second. and it's accelerating at a constant rate of two meters per second squared for four seconds, so that's the time. And we wanna know how far the car went, so we're trying to find the displacement here, so we don't care about the final velocity. So I'm looking for an equation that has S, U, A, and T, and the only one that has that is S is equal to U, T plus one half at squared. So I don't even need to isolate s because it's already on one side of the equation, so I'm just going to start plugging stuff in. So s is equal to 10 meters per second times the time plus one half times the acceleration times the time squared. When you plug that all into your calculator, you're gonna get 56 meters. Notice again that the seconds cancel out here. The seconds squared cancel out with this second, which is gonna be squared by this, and you're just gonna get an answer in meters. So that's how you do number nine. Going on to number 11, a child runs down his sidewalk with an initial speed of four meters per second for three seconds, then uniformly increases his speed to 10 meters per second in five seconds. What was his acceleration during the second part of his motion? So we don't really care about this first part. We only know that he's starting off with an initial speed of four meters per second. So if I write out my SUVAT table, This acceleration is happening in the second period of five seconds. And the kid is starting with a speed of four meters per second. And the final velocity is going to be 10 meters per second. And we're trying to find the acceleration so we don't care about the displacement. So we need something that connects U, V, A, and T, and that's gonna be V 
equals u plus a t. So now I just need to isolate acceleration. I'll subtract u from both sides. And now divide by t. So I get acceleration is equal to v minus u over t. So that means that the acceleration is 10 meters per second minus 4 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. So that's going to be equal to 6 meters per second divided by 5 seconds, which is 1.2 meters per second squared.